Let's start with Rachel from Chicago, Illinois asked, how much is too much time together? Okay, I assume she means with her significant other, not, not her cat, for example. Well, that's a question as well, but that's for another show. Um, yes, with the significant other. Um, take it away, Ingo. Take it away. <laughs> um, you know, it kind of depends. I think, I think people tend to find a balance in relationships of how much time they actually spend together. Um, at times, and early on, you know, when, when the infatuation is really strong, you tend to spend a lot more time together maybe than you may want to. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've seen relationships where, you know, there's a ton of time in the beginning and then it kind of fades away. And then there's the opposite too, where there's very little time and it starts to build. So what do you think is better? Um, you know what? I don't know if it's about better because obviously it depends on the type of person. Um, what I noticed though is that a lot of people think that when they jump into a relationship or even if they slowly progress into a relationship, that that means that they have to spend all their time together and that if they don't then that means that something's wrong or um or it's, the relationship just isn't up to par that's what i've seen um in my experience with people um and i think that stems from like high school uh the, the norm in high school you know you see each other every day you meet at the locker after class you go to everything all the events on the weekends and you're just seeing each other all the time and i feel like that in our society like that norm like goes into the rest of our lives and mm -hmm. it's very um it, it just doesn't mesh well with like the normal like american lifestyle like where we're kind of more independent and we do our own things but it's like it's clashing with this idea that we have to always be with somebody yeah and in the early stages it seems like relationships have a lot of anxiety in them too so as that you know feeling grows for someone for for example and you don't know what they might be doing now you want to spend time with them and maybe you don't get to or you do, and you come to realize that, wait a second, you know, I can't, I don't have time for anything else. Mm -hmm. so, so I guess it leads us back to the question, like how much is too much time? How, how does a couple determine uh, when they've gone over the line or, or if they're behind and, and they should spend more time together? I think whatever's practical for their particular lifestyle. Um, they always say in school that like it's not a problem until it starts to impact parts of your life. So, um, you know, you can hang out every day or every hour of the day, but if that's impacting you getting your work done or seeing family members or something like that, or it's causing um, other people in your life to get upset about not seeing you, then I think that that's when it may be too much. Like if they're coming to work with you, that's probably too much? Yeah, like bring your partner to work day. <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I think we've answered the question. I, I, th I think, yeah. I, I think the, the true answer is really it, it depends, but it's, it's always good to communicate. And it's probably a good idea to check in with your partner on a regular basis and kind of see where they're at. And sometimes it might be a mismatch where someone requires a lot more time and the other person wants space. And that could be mm -hmm. a reason why the relationship kind of doesn't work out. And that's okay, mm -hmm. you know. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's really like too much time unless it's really causing problems in other aspects of your life, I think. Some people, you, know, you have two dependent people who are together. So they're very dependent on each other, so that may work for them. But if you have an independent person with a dependent person, that could cause problems. So yes, um, something to be established before you get too deep into things of how much time you like separate and together. Because that's important. Mm -hmm.